Mwah. I'm glad you're in a good mood. Let's get right to the disasters. <laughs> oh, gee, right? I mean, Puerto Rico, Las Vegas, Donald Trump. <laughs> we had a rough week, and he does not make it better. You know, you've heard that term, uh, first responders. He's, he's got a new thing, worst responder. <laughs> He, is the he finally went to Puerto Rico uh, a week after the storm. He said uh, he would have come earlier, except his uh, hairdresser told him it was too dangerous. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you don't want the wind to do that thing, but... And he lands... <laughs> lands on the island like Ponce de Leon, and, you know, the natives immediately said, can we have the hurricane back? <laughs> I... And, and then he has this meeting. He says, the first thing he says, I hate to tell you, Puerto Rico, but you've thrown our budget a little out of whack. <laughs> uh, we spent a lot of money here in Puerto Rico. Oh, that is so Trump. I know you've had the worst time ever in your whole life. Let me just pull up your account. <laughs> uh, <laughs> then he calls the mayor, who's just asking for help, a nasty woman, and throws paper towels to the crowd. <laughs> and then he says, it's not a real catastrophe, like Katrina. And they said, well, you're not a real president, like Obama. <laughs> <laughs> so, are you... <laughs> you're starting to see a pattern that the most important thing that has to happen when there's a disaster is Trump being praised. The other thing he said, as soon as he hit the ground in Puerto Rico, the governor says, giving us very high grades. <laughs> If we could just somehow harness his ego, we could power the entire island. <laughs> it's... I... <laughs> Today, he said he's really starting to question whether the people of Puerto Rico fully understand and appreciate the extent of his suffering. <laughs> you know, like a joke. But, uh... <laughs> what happened to that one? Never mind. <laughs> So then he goes on Twitter to whine how the no good, mean, fake news media <laughs> spoiled his great day in Puerto Rico. <laughs> yeah, they pulled that fake news dirty trick they always do where they videotape him doing exactly what he does and says and then show it on TV. You know that dirty trick? <laughs> so... <laughs> So the next day, his No Empathy Tour... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> ...rolls into Las Vegas, where he tells them that they're lucky that it's not worse and more people didn't die. Uh, you know, I, first of all, I'm so sick of all the reactions. I'm so sick of thoughts and prayers. First of all... <laughs> thoughts are the opposite of prayers. A thought is, what should I do? A prayer is wishing on a star. <laughs> Thoughts and prayers are the Republican way of saying tough shit. Uh, I, you know, I hear this a lot on TV this week. You know, what do we tell the children? How about we're moving to Canada? <laughs> right. <laughs> nah, we're still here. <laughs> Don't forget that. No, Roger Stone, you know, Trump's albino assassin. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> oh, Roger. He said if Trump even thinks about doing something about gun control, the, quote, base will go insane. How will we know? Is my... How... What is... Oh, and... <laughs> if all that is not enough to make you shit your pants. Uh, dear Leader uh, had dinner the other night with the military chiefs, and at the end of it, he said, this could be the calm before the storm. And people, what are we talking about? You know, people... And he said, you'll find out. Yes, tune in next week for the next exciting episode of The Edge of Madness. <laughs> we'll... <laughs> Will North Korea get a bomb or a rose? We don't know. <laughs> Calm before the storm. It could mean anything. Either he's about to start a war or he ate too many prunes at dinner. I don't... <laughs> Rex Tillerson is so right. Did you see that? Rex Tillerson, the Secretary of State, our top diplomat, called him a moron. <laughs> and won't deny it. He's not denying it.
In fact, he <laughs> deny it until they dug a little deeper and found out he actually called him a fucking moron. <laughs> and now, <laughs> this country, now they're debating that. Whether he said moron or fucking moron. I, I say ask Melania if anybody knows about fucking morons. <laughs>